Hello everyone, this is Gary from the PhotographyExpress.com and today is the last session of how to use Adobe Lightroom. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart and thank you everyone for your support and commenting on my blog. You are the biggest driver for me to keep going and producing great content. And even though this is the last tutorial, be sure to come back and check out my other latest videos and blog posts. So in the last four videos, we cover all the way from importing your photos to making adjustments in the basic adjustment panel. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the HSL panel, the split toning panel, lens corrections, and also the camera calibration panel. So we have a lot of things to cover today. Let's head straight into Lightroom. So HSL panel, what this is doing is um, it lets you work on each color individually and make adjustments to them. So in here you have three tools. You have hue, you have saturation, and also luminance. For, for the hue, it works on the shade of the color that you're making adjustment to. So basically it can make green look more yellow or more green depending on uh, which side you go. Or it can make red to be uh, more uh, more orange or uh, pinkish. So for example, in this photo, if say I work on the red, it's going to affect the area right here because it has the most reds here. So if I move this slider to the right, it will look more um, orange. And on the other side, if I move this to the left, it's going to look uh, a lot more pink. So this is what the hue tool does. And also if I, um, for one more example, say for orange, because it's going to affect a lot of the areas here. If I move it to the right hand side, basically the whole picture is going to look more yellowish. And uh, on the left hand side, it's going to look more uh, red. So this is what the hue tool does. For saturation, it is how a, a vibrance of a color it is going to make adjustments to. So we can um, change the color from more colorful to, to gray. So uh, if we pick orange, for example, again, you see it's going to look a, a lot gray in this area. I can move this slider to the left hand side and all the areas that's supposed to be orange is going to look gray right now. And uh, it goes the same for the other colors. For luminance, it is the exposure of a, a particular color and it controls the, the brightness and the darkness of a tone. Uh, so say if I pick on orange again, and if I move this to the right hand side, all the orange color is going to be overexposed. And if I move this to the left hand side, they're going to look underexposed. So this is what the uh, HSL panel does. And this one cool tip that I want to show you, and is that if I click on this little dot right here, it is going to show you what color it is relating to when I move the mouse over it. So for example, if I move to the, the blue area, you see here it's going to highlight blue for me. And if I go to other areas, Lightroom is actually detecting the colors that um, it thinks it, uh, what the color is basically. So I think this is a pretty cool tool that I want to show you. And you don't have to use this all the time, but it, it comes pretty handy sometimes. So the next thing that I want to talk about is uh, split toning. Um, this is used to uh, change the the way color looks in the photo. So to make this as little technical as possible, the way that I will do is for both highlights and sh uh, and shadows, I'm going to move the saturation all the way to the maximum. And then I'm going to work on the hue coloring. So I'm going to move the sliders to to the color that I really want. Say if I really like around um, 49. And then I'm going to move the saturation back to normal. And I'll do the same for shadow. I'm going to move saturation all the way to the max. And then work on the hue. So once you get to um, the exposure or the hue, degree that you want and then move the saturation back to zero and then you're going to move the highlight saturation to the level that you want. So say I like around 55 
and for shadows for the saturation I like it around 30 so this is the way that I'll work on the photo um, to make it as little technical as possible the next thing that I want to show you is lens correction um, in here there's basically one thing you can do you can check the enable profile correction tool and what this does is it is telling Lightroom to use the information contained in your image uh, to get the detail about your lens and then Lightroom is going to apply corrections based on the problem it is aware of so for example if I'm using a wide angle lens for this shot and say the, the edges are not straight Lightroom is actually going to straighten the lines for me uh, but personally I, I hardly use this panel so I won't spend too much time on it the last thing I want to show you is camera calibration what this is doing is um, in here the profile session you have a few options to choose from basically if I choose a certain profile it's going to um, make what the back of my camera's LCD panel is going to look like so if I just take this shot um, in the landscape it's good to know what each tool is doing for me so that goes all five tutorials of how to use Adobe Lightroom I want to say thank you again for your support if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me you can find me at www.thephotographyexpress.com and I will see you in my future blog posts and videos